Good morning, people. How are we this morning? Just, just doing a little camera adjustment here. Won't be a sec. And I don't know why I thought that was going to work. All right. Hang on. Okay. Oh, look, I'll just move everything up that way. That'll be fine. How are we all this morning? Can you all hear me okay? See everything okay? Oh, oh morning, Sandra. How are you? Okay, so happy Saturday, guys. It's uh, another lovely Saturday, although it's not here in Adelaide. I'm trying to work out if it's going to rain or not. And, um, well, I guess I'm tied up in the studio all day with you guys, so it doesn't particularly bother me too much. Um, and there's no Adelaide team in the grand final, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Moving on. Um, <laughs> so it is... Day, I don't know, day, day six, day freaking six of the Great Australian Craft Show. And it has been so much fun hanging out with you guys every day. Um, we have got another daily deal for you. So today's daily deal for today only is a 15% off of Scrap FX products. So that is a great range of chipboard stamps stencils di um cuts black cuts silhouette cuts i think they're called rice papers all of the rice papers the junk journals uh a chipboard i think i said that all of those things 15 percent off and i got a massive shipment in a few days ago so um you will be able to add plenty of bits and pieces to your personal collections now, the other thing on special, we still have all Christmas things 15% uh, off until tomorrow evening. We have, uh, what else is there? Christmas, Christmas. Oh, brain fade. Oh, Lindy's products. Like your magicals. These guys here, they are 15% off. And I'm going to do some playing with those tomorrow. And I might do it at the end of today as well. Uh, and then we also have all paper collections are all 15% off. So what I want to do today is I'm going to tackle a little off the page project. This is the reindeer from Scrap FX. Uh, it comes in three different sizes and they are a great little project uh, ready for Christmas. So they come in a packet like this, the three different sizes. There's a small, medium and a large. Uh, I do believe this one is the medium uh, what you can do with this is you just slide all of the bits together like so, pop his little antlers on like so, and we have got a reindeer. Um, I am not the most festive person in the world, but that's okay. Um, but I thought this was super cute and I thought I would give this a go at... Give it a go, decorating it, adding some, making it look pretty, ready for Christmas. So, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it as pieces like this. I have pulled off the shelf some fountain pen rice paper and I'm going to add a little bit of fountain pen rice paper to the, uh, to the chipboard first of all. So to do that, I'm going to need the gel medium and I'm going to, and I just, cause I want it as a bit of a background element. So I'm using the Chromacool Impasto gel medium. This as everybody knows is my go-to gel medium. And I'm just gonna be a little lazy today and use my, my finger and get it on. And I don't want it on absolutely everywhere. I'm just going to pop it in a few little places. Um, and I'm just going to pop it straight on the back like that. I am going to make sure that it is straight. I don't want crisscrossed pieces. That will just mess with my head. Um, and add a few little bits around the place. Um, what's going to happen is I'm also going to be adding a little 
acrylic paint as well and also adding um, I've got some other little bits and pieces I might have a bit of a play with some foil too so I'm gonna tear that back and just while that's drying which shouldn't take too long because I didn't put too much on and then I'll tear it back after that but it just kind of coats it a little bit and gives me something that I can work with for a background morning Cherie how's New Zealand this morning I was thinking about you last weekend uh, we went to had a had a little weekend away on Kangaroo Island and Kangaroo Island has the what sort of bees were they Louise Bog bees. <laughs> Italian bees, uh, um, Liger 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 yeah, Ligerian? Ligerian? Ligerian bees. Apparently, they're, they're the only place in the world where, on, like, on, earth, on earth, on earth, where like where these bees are. And um, we brought home some honey, and I did think of you and your beautiful manuka honey from your your bees at, uh, in, in New Zealand so you were you were on my mind kangaroo island was beautiful what it was um, it was it's regenerating so very well oh good morning Fiona happy birthday to you Fiona Gaines I see you turning 22 today good um, yet yeah, I haven't actually tried the honey yet Cherie, I, I cannot say that it's as it's not as good as yours and I'm fairly certain it's nowhere near as good as yours um, but yeah it was it was really good kangaroo island um, for those of you who are not aware earlier this year it, it uh, a, a massive fire went through and destroyed three quarters of it and its natural habitat um, it is a beautiful beautiful place to be uh, and they are desperate for tourists to come back so we went there and spent the weekend exploring kangaroo island um, and if you have a look through my personal facebook you'll see some photographs uh taken of the of the habitat uh and it was just astounding there's so much beautiful new growth and um i was absolutely blown away about how pretty it was I had never been there even though it is in my my home state um but yeah beautiful beautiful place to go we saw plenty of wildlife lots of seals um possums, possums wallabies uh, only a few kangaroo which is kind of ironic on kangaroo island um we snake. snake yeah um there's a photo on my facebook that everybody's commented on actually which is a snake asleep in a lavender bush uh which we which we stumbled across which was really really weird um and he was just sunning himself on the top of this lavender bush it was really quite bizarre and he was super comfortable he was happy not bothering anybody uh, nobody was really bothering him except for all us taking photos of him, of course. <laughs> but um, perfectly harmless and very, very comfortable sitting in the sun. So um, there we go. There's that one. And um, yeah, lots of photos of the trees and the burnt undergrowth with all the new life coming through on my Facebook as well. And lots of photos if you go and have a look on my Instagram. Which is Happy Dax, H A P P Y D A K S. Um, so, all I'm doing here is I'm just adding, popping a little bit of the gel medium on with my finger, just maneuvering the rice paper around to create a bit of a pattern in the background. This is going to be a very hands on project, lots of finger swiping and paint and dirty dirty hands on this one so there we go 
So it's giving me a really rough and ready look, which is what I want. I don't want to cover the whole thing in, uh, in the tissue paper, in the rice paper. I only want to cover a small, a few areas because I'm going to paint in and around it, I think. Okay, so this one here, while I've been cutting, if I now just tear this back, tear off the bits that aren't stuck to the gel medium, it, it's leaving me this lovely uh, fountain, fountain pen print. And I'm making sure that my slots are not covered in paper as well. So um, there's so many things that you can do with these little reindeer. Like I said, it'll be a great project for the kids and, um, and even for yourselves. Nice little gifts to go on your Christmas Day table. Since this particular craft show Great Australian Craft Show has a Christmassy theme. There we go, so that's covered. And then I just want to pop a little on the back as well. Beautiful. So yeah, when you when the world opens up again and you all come over here and visit me in South Australia, um, make sure you allocate a little bit of time to head over to Kangaroo Island because it was really, really pretty. Um, pop that one there. Really nice. Okay. Baby wipe on the fingers. So I see a lot of you enjoyed alcohol ink day yesterday. It was a great day. You got, everyone has really chosen some gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Um, and I can't wait to see what you will create with them. There was plenty of beautiful brights and the, the new alcohol ink colours as well that were on special. Um, so thank you for, for those, uh, those of you who ordered. We are picking orders today and putting them all together in your little bags. Your little order bags, getting ready to... Um, ready to ship them out to you we're going to wrap them all tomorrow night and no we're not we're not doing it tomorrow night who am i kidding <laughs> um we're going to do it on monday we are wrapping packing and posting all right so here we go what i've done is just lightly coated in gel medium the body of our reindeer and i'm just going to use my nail file just to sand off the edges, just to take these fluffy bits off before I add some paint and some embellishments. So Scrap Effects is an Australian company. They are based in, I don't know, Australia, we'll go with. No, I think they're in Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne based. I feel like they're New South Wales. I feel like I should know this. Sorry, um, Jill and the girls and the team. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the Australian designed items and I love that they are all tried and tested by creative people like yourself. My reindeer's got a fuzzy bottom. Let's just... <laughs> First world issues on a... I don't hear that very often. No, you don't hear that very often. Oh, excuse me, sir. Your bottom is fuzzy. Um, okay. So now sanding it with a nail file just takes the fuzzy bits off the side. Victoria. Victoria. Thank you, Louise. Um, and there we go. And it takes those fuzzy bits off. So when I add the paint in a minute, it's going to not be all gross. Gross. Be all gross. How great is my English this morning? So a nail file is a very handy little tool. Many years ago, I invested in a Making Memories nail, uh, sorry, sanding set. Um, and I looked everywhere for it. It was the best tool of its time. And if only I realised that a nail file had done exactly the same thing, it would have saved me 30 bucks. Because, you know, that's what we do at the time. So has everybody got some big plans for today? Anything exciting happening or you're all hanging out with me? I feel like I've got too many clothes on this morning. 
having a hot flush again. Goodness me. All right. So you can see how easily a nail file just takes off that that those fuzzy edges, okay? Crafting today, Sandra. That's fantastic. Make sure that you share your projects in the Classes with Natalie May group. We would love to see what you're creating with all your bits that you, you, you buy. Crafting. Oh, you guys are all creating. Well, that's fantastic. Alrighty. So my plan here is almost non-existent. I have really not much of an idea on what I want to do. So I've covered this. So now it has this lovely little pattern on it, but I don't want to cover the pattern. I want to work with the pattern. So I've pulled some acrylic paint out. I thought, right, I'll, I'll start with some acrylic paint. So I've got a, a range of range of paints here to play with. Now, I wanted to create a Christmas project, of course, but I, I, me and red and green are not, not great combinations. So let's work with what I've got here. It's not a great big project, but I think I might start with putting down some mineral. So mineral is the Dina Wakeley paint, and it's kind of in a bit of a, it's in a gray. I don't want too much. Um, it's like a blue gray. It's quite nice. And I might pop some, good morning, Daniela. How are you? Um, and I might just go in with a little white as well. So the Dina, sorry, the Dilusions white, which is a little bit more fluid. Oh, Tina, that's right. You spent four weeks on the Air Peninsula. So you went and visited my hometown where I grew up, Port Lincoln. And where my husband grew up, Arno Bay, I'm sure that you popped in through there at some stage. Um, beautiful countryside. So I'm just going to use the acrylic paint and just lightly swipe it. If I, if I go in too heavy, I'm going to lose my pattern and I don't want to do that. So I'm getting in with my finger and kind of just polishing it. And I'm not doing the whole area, I'm doing little bits and pieces because I'm going to layer up the colour. So I'm going to make sure that I do both sides. And acrylic paint is going to give really good coverage over the chipboard, which is what we want. Oh, your cousin lives in Arno Bay, Tina. Oh, well, that wouldn't surprise me if somehow we're related. Crikey. It's a very small little town and everybody knows everybody. You'll have to message me and tell me who your cousin is. Don't do it publicly because that's a bit awkward. Um, holiday at home for months and months in Melbourne. Oh, sweetie. I feel for you. So you can see what I'm doing. Like super easy. Just getting that colour on there with my finger. And if I use a paintbrush... I'm scared that it's going to go on too thick, so I don't want to do, do that too much. So with the body, I'm going to just concentrate on the edges and his little tail. This would look amazing in any colours. I just wanted to make something pretty neutral. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of Christmas tones, but I want to make it work for me. And drop it in the paint. Nearly run out of paint. We leaving the clothes on the line in the rain, are we? Uh, it's, they're, they're wet. They're wet. Oh, okay. we missed it. You know what? The clothes will still be on the line tomorrow. That'll be fine. And no one's home. And nobody's home? No. Oh, okay then. All right. Oh, I tried to save you watching. Thanks, Louise. All right, so doing that, the antlers, I'm just going to give them a little light coat as well to keep it consistent. Um, and I have decided to not add the uh, tissue paper to the antlers because it's a little bit more fiddly. So acrylic paint's going to give me that nice coverage on that. Right, paint off hands. 
So you can use a paintbrush for this, of course, but um, what I liked about using my finger is that it's going to thin the paint out a little more and it's going to give me the ability to, 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 to move the paint around in a little bit more of an organic way. Good morning, Tony. What time do you call this, love? Goodness me. <laughs> oh, Julie, you had to sleep off last night's spending spree. I did notice that you did place an order well and truly after midnight. What were you doing up that late, girl? Um, okay, so I'm just going to dab that on so I can still see my paper through there. And I'm just covering, just touching the paint on, it's just plain white paint, nothing special. Getting up into uh, the arch here, which I was going to say getting up into his crutch, but it's really probably not the right terminology this hour of the day. Going in there and then I can just swipe it off. So when it goes on too thick, there's no reason why you can't just dab some off with a baby wipe, okay? So I'm just going to pop that one aside to dry and quickly whip through this one as well. So good morning to everybody who has just joined in. I am doing a little off the page project here, which is a chipboard scrap effects branded <laughs> um, reindeer. And I'm just covering it with some paint, giving it a little bit of an arty tar, arty, um, yeah, good morning, Trina. Um, a little bit of an arty touch. Yes, Trina, I missed boxing this morning uh, for two, a couple of reasons. I missed boxing this morning because I wanted to spend it here with you guys on Facebook. And secondly, I may or may not have overindulged a little on the wine last night whilst playing games with my family. So I was a little, um, a little clouded this morning, we will say. The first cup of coffee was very, very welcomed. Um, nothing a couple of Panadol followed by a Nurofen didn't fix. Well, almost fixed. Okay, so there we go. So Scrap Effects is the uh, daily deal. So we have got, oops, wrong colour. We've got today online 15% off Scrap Effects. So that is chipboard and stencils. Oh, let's get up in his bottom here. Here we go. Um, Chipboard, stencils, foam stamps, um, die cuts, junk journals. And I'm going to be working in a junk journal in my next live Facebook, which will be at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So there we go. That'll do for the time being. And just a little bit on his horns uh so yes the the little project i'm doing is it's like a little christmas gift and it is a something that the kids can put together as well so there's that comes in three different sizes and it is a a chipboard reindeer so he's coming together quite nicely here ruining my manicure but that's okay because that's what crafting is about all right Another baby wipe. Okay. So how was boxing this morning, Trina? Trina and I go to a, uh, twice a week, go to boxing together with the lovely Stefan McKenzie here in Adelaide at Anytime Fitness at Hallet Cove. Got a great little boxing group up there. I think we spend more time laughing and trying not to have our bladders explode before, um, rather than anything else, but it's good fun. Okay, so it's coming together. So those little bits are gonna slot in there. Um, do I wanna add a touch of color? That's freaking me out, to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna put it aside. And I think I might add some gold paint 
and a few swipes of gold paint then a little of um i might add some foil to it as well so this is the <laughs> this is the reeves acrylic paint um i've got these available online um, in the paint section this gold has been my go-to gold paint for years and i bang on about it a bit but it is the most beautiful gold it is like a it's it's not a heavy gold so you can see that it is really really it's a really pretty gold um now it's on the back of my finger gold okay so what i want to do is i just want to dab a little on the corners and on the edges to give it a you know i'm brushing it on so let me show you how much is going on bringing it back up to the camera i'm going to take it off the back of my hand and it's a really light swipe okay but it's just enough to make it shimmer before i put the next layer on and it's just enough i don't want to do it with a brush because a brush would put it too heavy um so and this is drying so much quicker if i was to use a a brush it would it would be so heavy and it will take so much longer to dry and i don't want this to take forever it's supposed to be a quick and easy project um something that you can do a few of them at a time um they make great little christmas gifts as well and i could have coated this in any sort of patterned paper but i went with the scrap effects collage rice paper in the what is that fountain pen so just putting it onto the back of my hand is thinning it out on my finger so that i can swipe it on okay super light let's polish his bottom a little highlight. highlight his bottom a little thank you louise that is the correct terminology so it's kind of like when you're putting you know a little bit of eyeshadow on or something like that with your finger you want less is best you want to be able to build it up rather than then um you don't want to have to try and take it off because it's too strong but you can see how it's just giving it a nice little shimmer and i'm just going to touch up the top of the tips of the antlers like that I'll do the other side <laughs> of course he's got a polished bottom tiny it's all about those little details isn't it so these little um, reindeer kits are super inexpensive and they're just a really nice fun little project oh there we go There we go, and that one just needs a little way, a little or a lot there. Okay, let's crack out the baby wipes again, clean off the back of the hand. I'm going to leave that there because I haven't decided if I'm going to be finished with the gold paint. All right, so what I've got now is my the body of my reindeer has got this lovely mineral blue and white and gold finish on it, and he's coming together quite nicely. Um, actually, I will wipe that up because I'm probably going to stick my hand in it. All right. What can we do? Let's add some foiling flakes to him now. Why not? So these are the Cosmic Shimmer Flakes. I did a little creating with those last weekend. Uh, you'll find those on my 
I did an art journal page. You'll find those on my on the YouTube as well as on back through my Facebook. Um, I'm going to put a dob of glue here for me to stick my finger into because I want to, and this is just normal puzzle glue. This is nothing special. This is that fancy glue that I bring in from Poland. And what I want to do is I want to touch a small amount of glue around my antlers and my reindeer. So I'm just going to touch it on in a few places. And then I'm going to grab some tweezers. In a minute. This little pot is to is here to create to catch any excess. So uh, can't find my tweezers. So these ones will do. These are my backup tweezers. Oh, no, here we go. Got them. So I'm going to grab some of these little flakes out of here and just pop them on top. Very lightly. So these are fantastic because the, the flakes have got lots of different coloured flakes in them. So just picking them up. And popping some random flakes on them put pressing them down then I'm gonna flip them over onto the other side whoops I missed a bit and they're super staticky as well so and then I'll polish them off in a moment so I'll do exactly the same thing this is my glue finger so these are, I've now gone from being an arty farty reindeer to a fancy reindeer. So the flakes are fantastic. If you um, invest in a, a, a packet of these flakes, they will last you the rest of your crafting career, I can tell you right now. They, a little bit goes a really, really long way. Um, as you can see in here and they also go a really long way across your desk but that's okay all right push it down with my finger missed a bit at the top there And then I'll put that over there to dry and do a little bit more on here. Which one was my glue finger? That one. Whoops. And I'm going to pop some on his bottom just for you, Tony. So if I just dip that in there, the glue is going to stick to it. So now I'm just being lazy, just dipping it straight into the top. Spreading it out onto there. And the flakes come in quite a few different uh, colours as well. So I'm not too sure which combo this is because if I pick it up, it'll go absolutely everywhere. But um, the ones have got, these guys have got mixed up colours on them. So uh, you can get lots and lots of different things out of your pack. So of course the flakes are only sticking to the glue. So this bit, this is the sort of thing that you probably don't want to do with the kids. Well, you know, unless you've got the patience of a saint, which is not my thing. Turning them over. Oh, lots of beautiful different layers here. Oh, 
messy little process, but you know what? I'm getting the desired effect and I've now just ditched the tweezers. All right. Fingers are looking great. Okay, so wiping it off my fingers, just gonna give that a second to dry. I'm not gonna add any to the legs at this stage. I don't want it too much overkill. Um, and then I'm going to now take my, this is just an old makeup brush and polish any extra bits off with that. So just brushing it into here. It's just catching any excess little bits in my little container. Oh, Tina, get back to work, love. <laughs> How funny. You know what? You can come back and watch this any time. All right. And now I'm going to grab a sponge. So this is just a, a sponge, nothing fancy. You could use a kitchen sponge. But just polishing off the excess bits, which leaves the foil on top. So you can see how that all that beautiful foil has only stuck to where the glue is. So I'm just gonna use my paintbrush now to get into these little cracks. Beautiful, so that's him done. And now I'll do the same thing here. So I'll just brush off all of these big bits first and push all of those down with the soft makeup brush. You could just use a soft paint brush for this. I, this is just the one that I grabbed handy. This is the one I usually use for embossing powder actually, to brush any excess embossing powder off. I love that you don't need anything fancy to do this sort of foiling. Um, but in saying that, I've also got on special this week the uh, the foiling bundles, which is a heat a heat foiling bundle, which you can use with a laminator to create some really lovely Christmas cards. So it comes in a Christmas card set and a plain set in a, with a 10 pack of cards with it. Uh, and they're $14.50 for a bundle. So all you need for that is a laminator. Um, and if you go back through and have a bit of a look from yesterday and from Monday's live Facebooks, you'll find I did a little demo on using, on how to use that. So you can see what the sponge does. The sponge just wipes off any excess and it actually makes it smooth. And I'll do the other side. And my paintbrush just to do the edges, just to make sure that everything's coming together nicely. Pretty. So you can see that shimmer. And these guys. It's a little fiddly, but you know, it's it's a beautiful. Is there an ink pad that you can use to stamp and then put the foil over? Oh, good question, Renee. I reckon there probably is. Um, I know years and years ago, I used to be able to get a, I feel like this needs some foil now. Um, I used to be able to get a, a glue pad, a glue ink pad. 
Um, I don't know if they are still around and available, but I will make a note. Oh, Louise has just stepped out. She's my memory for me. Um, but I will make a note to, to look into that because I think that that would be an amazing technique. Um, where else did I just put that glue? Yeah, okay, so it needed it on the legs as well. Definitely. And it's pouring with rain here in Adelaide. The rain is absolutely coming down. Um, yeah, look, I love the whole thinking out loud thing. Please do that more, Renee. Renee's just said, oh, just thinking out loud. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's how we come up with ideas. That is where all of the cool ideas come from. And if you don't try it and give it a whirl, you don't know how it's going to look. So that is how we create cool cart crafting projects, isn't it, guys? Oh, that's better. All right. That one's done. And it looks, looks like a fairy's exploded in here at the moment. There's so much gold. There's gold flakes all in the air. And I'm not taking any more out the container. I'm just picking it up from my mat. Because there is enough around. So for those of you who have got no idea what I am doing here and you've just tuned in, I have to get some bigger flakes. Um, I am altering a chipboard reindeer. I'm building a reindeer as you do on a Saturday morning. Which one was it? Here. Um, I decided that it was time to, to have a go and and use one of these um, reindeer that I've got online and alter it. This would be a great project for the, for the kids. It's a great project for me, actually. I'm really enjoying doing this. Um, and just swiping up these extra bits here. So I have taken a, a plain chipboard reindeer then I have got a um, some some collage paper, some rice paper, and added a coat of rice paper, and then added a some acrylic paint, and now I'm just adding some gold flakes. So. So then, of course, once I've done that, I do need to polish them smooth and it takes all the excess off, leaving the flakes attached to the glue. That'll do. Did both sides of those, did both sides of those. All right, so I'm just going to tidy up my work surface here before I do anything else because I've got stuff everywhere and it's a bit messy so just using the the cosmic flakes um, come you know they should last last you all of your crafting career well and truly um, Give that one more quick wipe and then I'm good. Okay. So this is what we've got. We've got the, the ant antlers covered. We've got the body covered. We've got his legs covered. 
So I'm just going to pop all of these little elements together. So I'm just going to slot them in like so. So you don't want to add too much patterned paper and take it too thick or the slots are not going to line up. You need to ensure that they are all going to stay at the similar sort of thickness. Um, Oh, you're so pretty. All right, so from here, I can add all sorts of little bits and pieces to him if I wanted. Uh, so, look, I went through my stash and I've got some chipboard little wreathy bits. So I could build some more um, little pieces of chipboard behind his head, glue those on. Um, I've had these in the shop for ages. I think someone actually purchased the last pack yesterday because that's Murphy's Law and as soon as I've decided to use them today. Um, but I could tie a piece of ribbon around to build up his little antlers. So let's just quickly colour those. So I'm going to colour those with a li little bit of Lindy's Glitzy Gold. So I've got some Lindy's, uh, these are the glitzers. So these are the ones that are not, they're not full of color, they are full of glitz. So what that means is you can add them to just about anything. So I'm just gonna give them a little, need a wider brush. Or we'll be here all day. Gosh, leaving that door open, Louise, was cold. Crikey. Oh, do you want... It? No, 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 no. I thought you might no, want it's, fresh it's, air. Well, actually, the fresh air's been beautiful. It's... <laughs> as I go through my, you know, second hot flush for the morning. Splendid. Um, all right, what else do I want to add? I might add some gold to that. So these are lovely. So the Lindy's glitzers are the powders that you can add to just about anything to give your project a little shimmer. Um... So these, there's lots of little chipboard leaves available. I've got a few different ones in the shop. I've got some scrap effects ones, which are actually on sale today at 15% off. These are this brand that I'm using here. I don't even remember what brand they are, but they've just come out of my little private stash. See how pretty that is? It's gone from being raw chipboard to, to that. And what I think I might do Put the lids back on your magical straight away because that will go really badly. And I'm going to take the antlers off and I'm going to glue them to the back of my antler. Okay, so what am I going to use as my adhesive? I'm going to use my puzzle glue because it's what I have handy. like that and of course the puzzle glue will dry clear so you can be a little generous with it now does everybody at home have a like a stash of Christmassy sort of things things that you have been collecting over the years. I've got a little stash of bits and pieces, things that I've picked up at markets and spotlight and bits and pieces. I've got these little bit, these little ball things. I don't even know where they come from, how I have got hold of them, but I think I might add them to my antlers and I'm just going to wrap those thanks tina it's a kind of a weird little project it's kind of a little unusual um a little bit quirky not at all my normal style um a big stash of christmas good girl um not at all my normal style but they are i think i got these little balls from a florist shop actually um but it's something a little different and 
being versatile in your crafting can it is quite good for you it's it's you know it gives you that that extending extending your talents and your knowledge okay bugger there we go and take that back up there do i have a chipboard grinch no darling i am the grinch no need for a chipboard grinch um normally i am the grinch i may have my balls might be too big guys <laughs> but you know what let's commit to it 23s you go love me some balls i love you this morning renee how cute and they're polished glittery shiny balls i think everybody loves shiny balls don't they this is about the only way i like glitter on on my balls no no natalie stop it oh let the puns walk away sorry if anybody is offended i will now choose my words a little better <laughs> okay so Good morning, Kathy. Oh, you've just missed all my bad testicle jokes, which is possibly a good thing because my sense of humour is not for everyone. Okay, so I've added some balls. I don't know if I like them or not, but you know what? There we go. Let's pop that back on. Line it up. Oh, look at him. He's looking super cute. All right, so quitting while you're ahead is a very good thing to do. And I'm at that point right now before this goes any further south. He does look kind of cute on his antlers, doesn't it? Okay, so just to recap what I have been doing this morning, for those of you just tuning in, um, we have got the Scrap FX products on special today for 15% off um we have got this is the scrap effect chipboard rainbow 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 reindeer crikey and he comes in three different sizes um he is a he because he now has glittered balls there we go so we have got the, um, there's a huge range of chipboard available. I'll, talk, I'll show some bits and pieces in a moment. But what, what I did with this is added some of the rice paper in the background, which you can see there. Um, and I added that on with gel medium. The Chromacool gel medium is my, my gel medium of choice. Uh, I also then added some white paint from Dilusions and some mineral paint from Dina Wakeley, which is this lovely gray. Uh, used my finger to swipe that over the top. I then used uh, a little bit of the Reeves gold paint to add some highlights. And you can certainly see that up around here on the antlers. Uh, I then used, <laughs> I then used the Cosmic Flakes which are now officially everywhere, um, and some glue to pop these elements on. Very nice. Um, and that they've polished off quite nicely. Um, some chipboard. So some random chipboard that I had in my stash at the top here. And I used the Lindy's Glitzy Magicals to add colour to those chipboard elements. Um, in the glitzy gold and the showstopper copper and then wrapped some glittery balls around his antlers so um, So that looks really really cute. So this is a fantastic project that you can do with the kids um, Perhaps not so much of the foiling, but it would be amazing with paint and stencils and bits and pieces it look great on your on your table for Christmas I'll photograph this and link the products in the moment up on the 
uh, on the photo when I take a nice little picture of that. So just to give you a bit of an idea very quickly on some of the other elements, um, chipboard things that are available through Scrap Effects. Um, this week I've had an arrival of these guys. So this is the chipboard. Oh no, sorry about the reflection. Hang on, let me turn the light off. Oh, and there we go. Sorry, I know it just got dark, but it will show you much, much better. The chipboard mermaid. So they're 15% off. This is incredible. This is the chipboard guitar, which has is the steampunk guitar. Is that showing up okay, Fiona? without the light on can you just give me a thumbs up or if you want me to turn the light back on um this is the beautiful seahorse um and that is a that's incredible the detail is amazing uh we've got the steampunk butterfly so that has come up that looks amazing as well um this one is called illuminated time I really like that. I want to use that one on an art journal page. Thank you. Cool. Uh, we have got the unicorn. So we've got the steampunk unicorn as well. So all of these little elements are attached. Like this will just look stunning with some of these. Like if you put that Lindy's glitzy over the top, that would look amazing. And check that out. Hang on. Can you see that? Look at the detail in that. And they are 15% off. So these chipboard bits are just mind-blowingly detailed and not overly expensive. Okay, so they're available. Um, we have some great little Christmas bits and pieces as well. So this is the Christmas wreath. And you can see that it's two pieces. So it's this piece here and then it's this piece, this piece here. So um, they're 15% off. And instead of using like that, these bits here on the, the leafy bits here on the reindeer, these would look great too. So this is a pack of three um, leafy bits and the Scribble Christmas tree. That's also available. So the Scribble Christmas tree yesterday, I foiled. So the foiling that I have on special... I added some glue over the foil, sorry, over the chipboard, Put stuck the foil on it, ran it through my laminator to heat set it, peeled it off, and voila, I've got this stunning little beauty, which is this foil, this foil uh, tree. So just showing you that the heat foils can look amazing on chipboard as well. So that's it from me for today, uh, for this morning. Um, I will be back again at 2 p.m. And I'm going to do an art journal page using the Scrap Effects Junk Journal and the new Michelle Logan designs from Scrap Effects. Um, can't wait to use those. Um, the all Christmas things are on special at 15% off anything Christmas until the end of the weekend so scrapbooking kits as well as scrapbook paper uh embellishments scrapbook stamps scrapbook stencils sorry christmas stencils all of that um yes renee i'm going to try that um what else is there we have got paper all paper collections are 15 percent off we've got the special on foiling which is the the christmas bundle and the planes bundle where you get a paper pad and a pack of cards. They're out for $14.50 with foils. We've got $4 heat foils. What else have we got? And tomorrow I've got another special, guys. So, um, oh. And you only pay shipping on your first order. So if you have already placed an order this weekend... Thank you very much. You only pay postage on your first order. The rest of your orders, you just select no judgment at the checkout and we will add it to your previous orders for one cent. Okay, um, Louise, yeah. 
Gail would like to order the Chipboard Mermaid, but she can't find it on the website. Can you just make sure that it's um, visible and right there? That would be great. Um, let me look into that for you, darling. So, okay. Um, the Chipboard Mermaid... Steampunk Mermaid, he's called, she's called. Um, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy your Saturday morning. And um, I'm going to take a photo of this guy. Then you will be able to, and I'll link the, the, the products that I've used in the comments. So uh, have a wonderful day. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, chat soon. <laughs>